Hello and thank you for joining me today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo. I am here today at one of my very favorite places on the hill, the Terranea Resort. Now, this resort, of course, is visited by people from all over the world, but a lot of local residents come here to enjoy everything that Terranea has to offer. Today, we're going to show you offerings of all things fun that you can do while visiting the resort. I am now joined by Community Relations and Activities Director Gay Van Zansky. Thanks for having us here where really all things are fun at the Terranea Resort. Yeah, we're delighted to have you here today. Thank and you. To talk about everything that's available to do here. You know, really because summer is 365 days here in the peninsula and um, so many fun things for local residents to come and do as well as your guests that stay here. Yeah, and I think that's the important message today. We want to, the local neighborhood to know that all of our activities are open to the community as well as to our in-house guests. So please come down and join us. Come here for special occasions just because it's a summer's day or because you have visitors, whatever the reason, we'd love you to come and join in. Now, so many activities. We're going to touch on a few of them today here in the show. Let's start out right at the Terrano Beach where we sent Rocco Sagona this morning, our cameraman, and he went kayaking. Yes, he did. And here's the fun part. He had never been in a kayak before. So really, anybody can go out there and learn how to kayak, is yeah, that right? If Rocco did it, anyone yeah. can do it, believe me. Um, so yeah, we have um, kayaks down at the beach permanently along with paddle boards. Okay. And weather willing, occasionally we, we can't get people out because obviously safety is our primary concern. Of course. But most days we take kayaks out. James Felgar, who handles um, kayaking for us, is, is a great guide. Okay. He, you literally sit in the kayak and get pushed out. You, if you're lucky, you don't have to get wet. <laughs> um, you do sometimes get wet. Uh, but then you go out for 90 minutes, you go along the coastline, you see all kinds of amazing things. Whales, dolphins, seals, and it's over the kelp forest, which in itself amazing. is an amazing thing to see. I was so, going to say, what an interesting perspective to be able to see it from the kayak. Oh, to see Terranea from yeah. the water, amazing. it's so different. Yes. Uh, if you haven't done it, I really recommend it. Because yes. apart from being in the just stunningly beautiful you know, scenery that we're lucky to be a part of, right. it, to see the resort from the water, you really get an idea of the scope of, of, of how big we are. Right. Now, is this something that happens on a daily basis or how does it work? Absolutely. You can come and make a reservation and we offer kayaking, weather dependent. Yes. 365 days of the year. Nice. So we can take anything from, you know, one person out to a large group. We do have an age restriction. We would prefer children to be over eight, okay. just from a safety point of view, um, and, and so that they have the power to Get actually paddle. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Although James does often tow people back in, yeah. <laughs> but don't tell him I told you that. Um, so yeah, we, we can do it if the waves are not too strong. We you, would never compromise the safety of our guests oh, by sending oh, you out. No, I noticed that you said that um, small groups, so it must be very fun for people to come together and maybe even a girl's day out. You can take your oh, girlfriends totally. out there. totally, yeah. yes. I mean, I, I don't know that alcohol is legal on the water, so I'm not <laughs> sure a bachelorette would that. enjoy it. They can but go to Nelson's for Yeah, that. They, can, they can do that before <laughs> and after. Exactly. But yes, any group, but okay. we particularly specialize with all of our activities in multi-generational activities. Very nice. Our goal is to offer things that grandparents can do with grandchildren, right. parents can participate with their children. We want to enjoy a family tradition together. And so for us, that's the focus. Now, Gay, if you would like to hone in on your creative skills, we hear there is a plein air painting class you can take. Tell us about that. Yeah, we have divided our um, activities into three different categories. Okay. We have aqua adventures, terra adventures, so water and land. Okay. And then we've recently created a new category called art adventures. Nice. And within art adventures, we offer cake decorating, which we'll talk about, yeah. and plein air painting. So taken from the French to uh, paint in the open air. We have um, tutors who come and they guide you. Don't necessarily teach in a very sort of structured way, but help you to create your own masterpiece. 
watercolors, and they tend to be subject matters around who and what we are. So okay. it might be a seascape, it might be birds, it might be a garden, flowers. So things that are relevant to the Terranea landscape. Which is kind of amazing because when you think about it, you're coming here to this beautiful resort, you can actually create something that will remind you of your trip. Absolutely, that's the point. You create yes. your own work of art and you take it home. And how cool is that? So, and even if you just live up the hill, that is even cooler because you yeah. can say, I went down the hill, I learned how to paint, and here it is. Yeah, and you were, we were mentioning the ladies sort of night out or, yes. or the ladies groups doing kayaking. Well, this is a great activity for a group of ladies to do together because yes. we do offer it with wine. Oh, it makes it even Not better. Not sure if that helps or hinders <laughs> the creative ability. I think but it helps. We offer wine with painting. Now, is that something that people do on a daily basis, a weekly basis? How does that work? We can set it up on a regular basis. At the moment, we have a regular standing class on a Sunday afternoon. So come and join that one or call us and we'll set something up specially for you. The painting groups, how large are they or small are they or? I think on average they tend to be around six or eight at the okay. moment, but they're growing. Nice. Because we're there every Sunday, people are beginning to, to see it and, sure. and realize that it, it's something that they can do. So all of these activities are growing. Looks like you have a pretty fantastic group behind you painting here at this beautiful resort. Tell us about this. They are brave, but also they're experiencing their little inner artists. It sounds so cliche, but it's true. Um, I think the older people get, the more fearful they are of art, unless they've been doing it since. But we say our target audience is adults who haven't painted since third grade. And we love the fear in their eyes, and we love just diffusing that fear and really having them discover something. They probably haven't relaxed and discovered something like painting in a long time, or if ever. Now, what, what are they painting? Are they painting from pictures? Are they painting the ocean? What are they painting? We have a variety of ocean scenes and seashells, uh, seahorses, a lot of coastal views of the Point Vicente Lighthouse, the cove down below, um, whales. Uh, we like to focus on the whales because that's a big thing here. Um, anything pertaining to Terranea and Palos Verdes, indigenous too. It'd be pretty amazing for people that don't think they can do something like this to actually see a picture when they're, when they're done. It's the biggest high. I am telling you, we've got it down to a model where we sketch it out for you and we guide you with pictures and also with step-by-step -step instruction. And within two hours, I'm saying, I mean, we're pretty happy with the results we can get and have for you to get in two hours. It's, it's pretty fun. Let's stick with the creative and talk about cake decorating. Yeah, because, one of my favorites. Yeah, because we get to eat it when we're done, and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. How did you come up with that one? Well, it's something I've seen done elsewhere, so mm -hmm. I, I won't claim credit for developing the idea. Okay. But we put a lot of research into doing it the way we want to do it. And so each person gets a cake, a six-inch cake, and you can choose whether to do aqua or terra. So you can have oh. a blue cake and do a seascape, or you can do a green cake and do a garden scape. Lovely. And we provide all the tools you just turn up. We do everything from the aprons to the, the cutouts, to the sprinkles, to the icing, and you can come and create your own masterpiece and then take it home and eat it. Now, that's pretty spectacular. Have you tried this yet, Gay? Oh, yes, I absolutely <laughs> have. And I have to say that my team made one for me the other day, which Aww. I treasured and they put a mermaid on the top and they Cute. said, you're swell. Oh. <laughs> Pretty cool. They're really creative here yeah. at Terranea, we gotta tell you. <laughs> no, that is so much fun. Now, this seems like all ages would participate in this, yes? And do. We had okay. a wonderful family group here last weekend and it was a dad's birthday. He oh. was turning 40 something and he had his parents and his children. So wow. it was a wonderful group of 12. They each did a cake. The little ones did cupcakes. Um, and actually one dropped it on the floor, so we had to come up with an, an emergency uh, replacement, which, which was fun. Which, of course, you always have on Which hand. we did. Um, <laughs> but yes, I don't know that 12 cakes got eaten. 
but 12 cakes were decorated. You know, Dad's like cake too, so he probably took them back and, and enjoyed we them later. We delivered them that night to their villa, and nice. they had a birthday party with cake. Well, I'm learning a thing or two about cake decorating <laughs> right out here with Jacqueline. Tell us about this cake decorating. What a great way to have a party Decorate your own cake and have some fun. Absolutely. So we offer this cake decorating activity here at Terranea. It's a great family fun activity. We could do birthday parties, bachelorette parties. Um, we've even had just kids parties where they were celebrating the beginning of summer and they did cake decorating and they combined it with pizza. Um, oh yeah, the kids had a blast. I think they were on sugar overload, but it was definitely- but It's a birthday party, so it's okay. Exactly, exactly. So this is um, a great family fun activity. We've done it for, actually, you know what, last week we had a huge family event here. I think it was 10 people in total, multi-generational. We had the grandchildren here. The grandparents were celebrating their 50th anniversary. The children of the grandparents were celebrating a 40th birthday. And then we had the kids celebrating birthdays as well. So it just goes to show you that it can span over any type of um, activity in any age range. I love that you were telling everybody too that, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. You can just kind of be creative, think about what you want and just oh, yeah. kind of go for it. Oh, absolutely. I've seen um, so many amazing cakes. I've seen a frog cake. I have seen a seahorse cake, a porcupine cake. That was an awesome one. A native plant garden, because what we do, we try to incorporate the green cakes are our land-based cakes, and our blue cakes are seed-based cakes. So yes, they have, um, so people come up with these really unique ideas, and everyone has their own cake idea. It's been a lot of fun to see what they come up with. And you can really set this up any time here at the Terrain Resort, is that right? Well, we have reservations. We have a set one for Saturdays um, at 3 o'clock, though if you have a special request and a special day that you'd like to have a birthday party or something, we can definitely make that work. So next time you have a birthday party, come right here to the Terrane Resort and you can not bake your own cake, but decorate it. Now, if you want to get some exercise while you're participating in some great activities, you can walk, you can nature walk, you can photo walk, and you can wine walk. So yes. let's go through each one of those. Let's start okay. with the nature walking. Well, nature walking is something that we've done for a long time here mm -hmm. at Terran Air. We employ naturalists who lead hikes, and hiking can be strolling or it can be a proper hike with a fitness element incorporated if you want. Right. Um, but we teach people about the local flora and fauna and we do the local trails so that's nature walks we offer a complimentary walk at 10 o'clock every morning okay. and then we will schedule a one-on-one -on -one or a group walk at a particular time for a group by request. You can come to the Terranea lobby at 10 a.m. every day. We have guided nature walks, so it's either myself or a fellow naturalist, and we walk along our native plant trails, which are really beautiful this time of year. We've actually seen a lot of El Segundo blue butterflies and Palos Verdes blue butterflies that come around, and they're endangered, so that's exciting. Um, we look for dolphins, whales, sea lions, and then we end right here um, for our falconry experience every day at 11. It must be so interesting for people that not only learning about nature, like you said, about butterflies and just seeing things that they may never see anywhere else. And it's really special because as a resort, I feel like we actually care and native plants are doing so well here. And just because of that, we actually have endangered species that come back, which is my passion. And I think that too, like people come to a resort and they don't think really about other things that they can do like hiking. Exactly. And we also do um, a coastal hike every day at 2 p.m. and that goes to the lighthouse and back and that's a really fun experience, especially during whale watching season. We can look for gray whales, which is December through May. We have recently started a new concept called a photo walk. Okay. where we bring in a, an experienced photographer mm -hmm. who teaches you how to get more from your camera, whether that's your cell phone or whether that's a more sophisticated camera. But she spends an hour with you walking around the resort, teaching you how to take better photos of yourself if you want. I know <laughs> selfies are the thing. Well, the selfies or with the, the ocean scenery. behind yes. you, right? Yes. yes. And this so 
Erin is very talented and everybody can learn more. Well, I think this is probably one of the most photographed areas, if not in the state, in the world, mm -hmm. especially this, this coastline. Yeah. So to be able to have a trick or two up your sleeve to take an even better picture that you can totally. show off to your friends, how amazing is that? And I have to say that I learned things within the first 10 minutes of being with Erin that I had no clue my camera would do. Exactly. And she really does have a different insight. So it's a great gift for somebody who's interested in photography yeah. or just for your mom or dad because it's something different. People just show up and we have a fun workshop and of course taking advantage of the entire beautiful landscape of Terranea and they can use any camera that they want. So if they have, let's say, a digital SLR where you can interchange the lenses, professional, or a compact camera, or even a smartphone. It's all about the light, and it's about the composition, and having fun taking photos. What's the number one thing that people ask you when they're getting ready to take a picture or something? What's the best light? How do I look good? in the light and how do I make someone else look good in the light so that's one of the things I teach is being able to identify and to find the great light the quality of light to be able to identify that and how soft how hard it is and also the direction so sometimes it seems like it's a big mystery but it's really not people always want to get amazing pictures of the coastline here um, what's the biggest trick there time of day. So the later in the day or earlier, depending if you want to get up early or not, typically is the best time. That's why landscape photographers love to take pictures early in the morning or late in the afternoon because that late afternoon or early morning light is directional and it creates shape and form across everything and it just makes it more beautiful. About how many people do you usually take out um, and how often do you do it? Well, usually once a week, and it could be two people, it could be up to 10 people at one time. I give everyone personal one-on-one -on -one instruction and great ideas and inspiration and have a lot of fun and leave the class with new ideas and a lot of good pictures. Okay. And uh, where do you go? Where do you start and where do you kind of walk to? Kind of depends on what people want to do because it's very customized. There's no one set place we go, although I do happen to know some good spots here, so we'll do those but um, it's pretty much whatever people want to do. People come from all over the place and that's what's so fun about it. I love meeting people and finding out what they're doing and hopefully I can give them some ideas too. Is it more difficult to take a picture with your phone than a nice camera? Or? Well, sometimes it is because you can't hold on to it that well. So I have a couple ideas and devices you can use and that tends to be the biggest problem. Okay, tell us, show us some of the things that, fun things that you brought with you today that you m might use on a walk. Okay, well, let's see. One um, is the selfie stick, which I know these can be kind of obnoxious sometimes, but they can actually come in pretty handy. So for instance, you know, I can whoo, take the picture from a little bit farther away, which always makes people look better, right? You don't want that camera right up in your face because whatever's closer to the camera lens looks bigger. Why does my nose look so big in that picture? Because the camera's too close. So anyway, this helps. Um, I also have some little reflectors I like to bring with me and just helping people understand about the light, not only finding the good light, but say reflecting the good light, like, oh, there's my reflector, hello. Um, something, things like this. Okay. Those are the basics because it doesn't really have to be all about the accessories and everything. It's really more about seeing the light and then capturing that and learning about composition too. What are some of your favorite things to take pictures of here at the resort? Well, the flowers are beautiful, and of course the coastline. Um, people sometimes, just the people you're with, knowing how to take a better photo of them while you're here with them is a great thing too. So the pool's pretty, just kind of depends. Like every creative person, photographer, they walk around and they just see something that catches their eye, and there's a lot here to see. Now the wine walk, are you walking and drinking and tasting or how does that work? <laughs> <laughs> how are we doing with that one? The wine walk, you are not walking around with your glass, but you're going to four different venues where you will do a side-by-side -side tasting. tasting. Okay. So um, we start at Nelson's, we go to the spa, we go to Catalina Kitchen, and then we finish at Marcel. Nice. So how bad could that be? It, so you're having sounds good to me. eight small pours by the end of the walk. And what's more is you're developing a relationship and learning from one of our um, sommeliers or our um, directors of food and beverage. They sometimes lead the walk because they think it's fun to do. Yeah. So it's, it's about having fun and learning. Right. So there is definitely a learning element to that.
The Wine Walk, uh, it was really a great idea for this facility because it, it's such a vast facility and offers so much. So we wanted to take um, the educational piece of Terranea, plus add some wine to it, so that's fun, right? So we start off at Nelson's, uh, and we start with a nice featured wine there. Uh, after that, uh, we, we kind of talk story about the wine, about the vineyards, uh, so guests could be uh, educated on the wine that they're drinking. And then we also tie in a lot of some history, maybe about Nelson's, and about the bluff area where Nelson's is located. And so it's, it's kind of twofold where they're learning about the wine, but also they're learning about uh, Nelson's and Terranea and, and, and uh, in the bluff area. And then from there, we move on to the Spa Cafe, which is a really unique setting, uh, great setting. We do a nice uh, wine uh, offering there as well. We change gears a little bit, we'll offer different wine. Talk about the spa, get people acclimated to that spa. Uh, people may not know that and uh, about that about that location. And I'll tell you, that is probably one of the best spas I've seen in quite some time. So it's, it's, it is a great location. So when we're done with the spa, we, we talk story down there, we work our way up to uh, Catalina Kitchen. And um, you know we'll be featuring a, a new selection of wines. Um, maybe add some surprises along the way and maybe some tutorials for guests to learn about uh, our wonderful resort here. So when we get to Catalina Kitchen, we'll feature the restaurant, the offerings, and our last stop would be Marcel. And you know, we save the best for last, you know, so Mar Marcel is great. So uh, we'll have our sommeliers up there meeting and greeting the guests as they come in. Uh, and welcome to Marcel have a special feature. Uh, we we'll also do a special feature dessert for them to kind of pair with some of the wines up there. Um, and it's really just educational. And and, and I, I, I've done these before and, 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 and been the instructor. And by the time you get to that last stop, you're, you're best friends with these people. And uh, you get to know them throughout their stay just through their um, experience on this wine walk. So it's fun, it's educational, and uh, just a great thing to do. Usually how many people participate in the walk? We'll do up probably about 12. We want to keep the, the, the group size kind of intimate, you know, because we get more more uh, more uh, personalization uh, with our guests on those. And do the wines change from time to time, or? Yes, yeah, they do, and we'll sneak out some uh, some some favorites in there. Like we'll throw in a uh, maybe a, maybe a cake bread chardonnay, which is just a really great great wine. And then we have some other favorites that we'll we'll, we'll feature uh, for our guests. Now, how long have you been doing the wine walk? We started it about a month ago. Okay. So what we're trying to do is constantly innovate and bring in new and interesting things for guests to do. So the activities menu, actually I'm holding one here, right. is growing day by day. So if anybody has an idea that they want us to incorporate, oh. tell us and we'll give it a go. And gave so many other activities, including surfing, helicopter rides, you name it. You guys do it here at the Terranea Resort. Yeah, we do. And we're working constantly to develop new relationships with local vendors. We tried out a fun thing the other day, which is paddle boarding at night oh. with lights, which was really enormously fun. Um, yeah, we do helicopter tours from here. Amazing. Um, we do surfing, we do all sorts of things. So if you're interested at all, please give us a call and we'll tell you what's available. And remember, you can participate in all of these activities. They're for everyone here in the community. So come on down to Terranea and have a great time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maria Sorreo and we'll see you next time at Terranea and around the peninsula.